in life. It's about who you know. If you don't know, Bronny James got drafted to the Los Angeles Lakers and with the second round pick, I think 55 overall, and everyone on Twitter and social media has a lot of very interesting opinions on it, and I'm here to give you my opinion. So Bronny James getting drafted is nepotism at its finest. It's pure nepotism, to be honest. This man did not average a lot of points in college, and if he was any other player, he would not be in the NBA right now. To me, I thought he should have stayed in college, develop his game, but I can see the money side where he goes to the Lakers and then, you know, he's already in the NBA. Now he can grow and maybe do it that way, go to the G League, whatever. But if he was any other player, he would have to stay in college, develop his game, probably be there three or four years, then come and maybe be a pretty decent NBA player. But since he's LeBron's son, he makes it to the NBA in his very first year in college where he doesn't do much. Um, I think the biggest piece when it's like, the nepotism part is, I don't know if this is a rumor or if this is fact, but Rich Paul was hitting teams up saying that if you draft him, he's going to Australia. Now, to me, this this gives it like that, you know, you're a privileged rich boy type of vibe because it's like, you know, if any team drafts him, then it should be an accomplishment in itself. I understand he wants to play with his dad and he wants to go to L.A., but kind of just like doing that just hurts his stock like he has to succeed in la to me he goes to and he can't really go to any other team like that because probably rub teams the wrong way how this whole process has gone when he you know they weren't able to work out with every team you know and this thing where rich paul's telling people that you can't draft him you know if la gets rid of him for any reason maybe they say you know we'll keep him for life because of lebron but if la wants to get rid of him for any reason then it's you know teams probably gonna remember that Bronny, I don't know what Bronny's career is going to hold. I mean, he can definitely develop under his dad. And probably they play together for a year or two. This is one of the only things LeBron has not lied about. He's made a whole career about lying. But he did not lie about this. So I'll give him credit for that. But this is one of those things where I'm like, yo, you know, Bronny, will he be a good role player? He's undersized. Doesn't have any, like, real strength. Like, he has strengths, but he doesn't have anything that really makes him stand out. Um, has a lot of developing to do honestly in his first year he should be in the g league he should not get any if the lakers actually want to win and make a conference finals nba finals whatever the heck their agenda is Bronny james should get zero minutes on the court he should be a g league exclusive player they teammates but they not really teammates he should be with another team completely i don't know what la's g league team is but he should spend every second of the day in that no, like they if he gets any minutes on the floor then either a he's much better than i thought or b which is very more likely a lot of things are falling apart so definitely it's going to be interesting the lakers are a very interesting team i honestly don't take them that seriously jj reddick being the head coach they draft ronnie james this whole like thing is very like click engagement type beat you know what I'm saying like we just need viewers even though y'all the lakers I don't know, hey, but at the end of the day, you look at J.J. Redick being the head coach and you look at Bronny James being the a player on the team, it really is about in life. And it's one thing if you don't know, and a lot of you should know, but if you don't know in life, it's who you know, right? It's connections. You build good connections and you network, great things happen. J.J. Redick went from never coaching to being the Los Angeles Lakers head coach. Bronny James averaged nothing in college, essentially. Didn't do nothing in college. Didn't do nothing. No standout. You look at his tape. Look at his film. There's nothing that stands out. And he's playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. And not only that, it's not like he's going to get cut. Oh, he has a bad year. Are we cutting? No, Bronny going to be on the Lakers, and he's going to be a player. As long as LeBron's there, and even past LeBron being there, he's going to be a player on that team. It's about who you know in life. So even though it is nepotism, I'm not hating on it. It's just the way the world works. Life is unfair. You got to get with the program. If you want to make the NBA, if you have a dad that's in the NBA, you gonna make it. I don't know why Michael Jordan didn't do this, because trust me, Michael Jordan, you could have got away with that as well. But I guess he wasn't playing in the NBA when his kids was in college and went to the, you know, so. But that's my thoughts on it. Comment down below. Tell me, what are your thoughts? If you're a Lakers fan, what do you think about Bronny James being on the team? Do you think Bronny James is going to be helpful on the team in the next couple of coming years? Or do you think it's just like a type of reality TV show, just trying to get clicks and just trying to be interesting or try to, you know, please LeBron? So tell me what you think about the Bronny James draft. Do you think it's nepotism? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's unfair? Or do you think Bronny James got that dog in him and he's going to be a good player? 
Um, another thing, we hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching that. If you want to watch the live draft stream where we did hit 1,000 subscribers and we react to the Hawks, Rockets, and the Spurs with the draft picks, go right here. Click this video. And hey, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.